Ah oh, no, welcome back to Match Day Live, it's me Dan, back again, and I almost forgot about this game, um, but uh, yeah, so Manchester United have to face uh, Newcastle tomorrow night, um, on yeah Tuesday night, as uh, this game was supposed to be played at the weekend, but obviously it was the FA Cup, but uh, anyway, so the team I've gone for was, is Marshall up front with Rooney just behind him, Carrick instead of Schne uh, Schweinsteiger because it looks like he picked up an injury against um, Sheffield United at the weekend. And then uh, I've put Schneidlin with him and then I've got uh, Memphis on the wing with Lingard on the right just because I think um, when Memphis came on, he actually, he actually uh, did pretty well against Sheffield United. Um, and then I've got Lingard instead of Mata, just because Mata was absolutely terrible on Saturday. I don't know what it was, but he was absolutely terrible. And uh, <laughs> I've also uh, gone for Young at the left back, and then we've got Darmian at right back, and then Blint and Smalling, and then De Gea. So let's play match, shall we? And uh, yeah, so like I said, at the weekend, um, well... Just before that weekend, actually, we uh, faced Swansea and we won two one. Um, it was it was quite a good victory, but yet again, it was still it just paper, it's just papered the over the cracks. We'll you know what I mean? Um, it wasn't the best of games. Um, all right, Rooney did. It was quite a good goal for Rooney. Quite a good flick. Um, good to get him. Scoring this again, and then, then obviously the he United scored, and then penalty against New uh, Sheffield. Wow, goal. already losing. What a goal! Um, yeah, so we uh, really scored the penalty obviously on uh, Saturday in the 90th minute, has opened the scoring. One and then um, yeah, that's basically it. So we won two one. Uh, who got the second goal? Who got the first goal? Oh, it's Anthony Martial. Yeah, it's good to see Martial get on the uh, get on the score sheet against the Swansea against Swansea in that game. Um, but like I said, Sat that Saturday was quite a good victory, but it's still shown that we are quite boring, uh, especially on last Saturday. Uh, the, the Saturday just gone against. Sheffield United because that game was absolutely terrible. I'm surprised that we actually won, but it got a bit well. We got a bit lucky with the uh, skill from um, Memphis Depay, and then obviously he got tackled. I think it was a penalty, but obviously people saying he died. But I think after re after the replays, it, I, I'm sure it was a penalty. I'm, I don't think Depay. You know, would have. I don't think well, the guy would have you know, dived like that. I mean, he did like get his pass. shin and all that, but. Rooney, looking to find Carrick. Um. Yeah. So. This. Uh. This game. Obviously, comes a bit of a. Uh, a few days it's after the FA Cup. Um. Which. Like I said, it's absolutely rubbish. Uh, that okay, FA Cup match. The ball is um, his. He's, he's made sure got he's lucky to get through, really. I mean, we had to. Got it back I mean, thank God he brung uh, Fellaini off because that was absolutely, absolutely terrible. Um, the Swansea game was much more better. Why now, Um <laughs> I'm trying to think. Yeah, the, the Swansea game was uh, a bit much better, but. It's it's still it was still like shocking to see that we're struggling against teams like Sheffield United and where Swansea at the moment are just like out of it and I think um, they are out break. of it at the moment Swansea so uh, just like Newcastle um, there we go one one Marshall um, yeah so. Just like Newcastle, Newcastle themselves um, and he took a glance up there, you know, are struggling and he saw the at the moment. Um, they lost to really Watford cool, at the weekend um, in the FA Cup, but I can't remember so the one I lost away we go at in one the all. last match, in the last Premier League match. I can't remember. But um, Newcastle at home, they have like 
got big performances out of well, the bigger teams here. like they faced Chelsea, like they faced uh, Man City. But I think it'll be a troubling game for Man United if they if they show Snuggling. up if the Man United that show up that played uh, on Saturday and the they're back. just pass pass and just poor in possession passing. Then I think we could be in for a shock loss. Um, Got the ball back. But I doubt that'll happen. Hopefully this this man, Nedvis, will start, and I hope that he gets a good game because he showed that he was getting a good game um, for the. Oh, good ball! Oh. He was so good, like he was getting a good game for the. Um, for once he came on for the Sheffield United game. Um, Shots on here. He's ooh, had to go ooh. full stretch. Where's he gone? Oh, keep it forward. Uh, but obviously we have to watch out for uh, a couple He's of Newcastle players like Warren Alden, uh, like Suzoko, uh, obviously Perez if he's playing. Tackle. I don't know if he's injured Just at the moment. One minute or, of time to come. But I know they haven't got Tim Krull obviously because he's out for quite a while, uh, which is a bit lucky, but... Oh, I almost got through with uh, Marshall. Well, the and there's done. half time. Currently winning. Uh, currently drawing actually. One all. Uh, pretty even, really. They've had more, much more possession, but hopefully we can Manchester start United again. Get the second um, half underway. The only, the only good thing about they uh, out wide here. the only good thing about us at the moment, we're on a winning streak. And I, I know, I, I really, it's like Lusas we haven't won like the last two games in like six September or something like that. Uh, so if now we can get another Ray win Ray. against the Newcastle, the the it'll here. give us like a, quite a good confidence, I think. Again, especially against Liverpool on Sunday. Um, well, the so that'd be quite interesting. That would be quite well. interesting. He's certainly game. been an influence on this first half. On Sunday, well, Liverpool, forward, Liverpool. His team there, that that Anfield. Anfield. <laughs> but his team haven't been. Or Juan Field. You would say, on the best of form. You could say. Um, hopefully, yeah. But that's uh, next time. But I'm not here to talk about Liverpool. I'm here to talk about Man um, United Newcastle. Um, what else can we talk about? Uh, well, January transfer window. Uh, Louis Van Gaal's already said that we probably won't be getting anyone in January, uh, which is kind of disappointing. Nice but... As they build this attack. Ah, really? Fucking run into the player. Yeah, it's quite disappointing uh, that he came out and said that, but. He said if the right player's there, then he now might go out and get him. Rooney. But I doubt we will get anyone. Um, the only person, like I've just said, was Felipe Anderson. That's a penalty. Um, oh, yeah, no but like, Felipe Anderson, well, he's not going to do much for the team. Um, the well, he's well, got obviously we've been linked with Bale and all that. Why is Marshall taking a penalty? Oh, well, I'll take the win. I'll take the goal. Um, you could say it was a good height for the keeper, but it's finished can, up in the corner. I can well see, Matt. I really Fancy wish. I still want Lou Van Gaal. And the, I still want Lou Van Gaal out just because. Possession in the midfield It's like area. playing style with Man United. It's just so boring. Now that's the ball Everything the about it is just like. Lose it and then he goes and at the start, I, all good right, job. it was kind of good. With Newcastle like we again. was winning matches, and then after a while, it's just like. We just look bored. The players look bored. Even he, even I, I, I have to agree with Paul Scholes. Um, Paul Scholes uh, recently said that all the Man United players look bored. Even Louis Van Gaal looks bored. Well, I have to admit, even even Giggsy finds it. Even looking at Giggs, he finds it boring. So, I mean, I mean, a, a good Manchester player United could. Won the ball back here. Like a good Morgan new Schneider player then. to add to the team could give the team new Good confidence, but I very doubt first. that'll happen. Like he's, like I said, Lou Van Gaal has said that he is going to be uh, isn't throw here. looking for any new team members in the transfer Michael market. Cuff. But if the new, if he's like the only if the right players out there that he can get, then he will get them. But Ashley Young. Um, yeah, it's, on I, just, for Newcastle. I, just, I want to watch it, but obviously, oh, well, obviously I can't because unfortunately I've got work. Well, the ref's but I, just, I still here, think that Man United. Yeah, no surprise there at all. We're in this. I still think we're in this process with him. And the goalkeeper got a touch to that. 
fine it's save. Just, it's just not working at the moment, I don't think. Black and white um, striped shirts, wherever you look around the ground, it's the ones wearing oh, those colours on the pitch. I, 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 want, to, I want Man United to win, but I want them to lose as well. Because yeah, if we lose to, to Newcastle, I think the players, by the looks of it, are finding he will it be put in doubt. But even so, That's a splendid clearance. even if we lose to Liverpool as well, I still think that we could... If we lose the next two games, I can move on now and we'll be sacked. But I can't see it happening because... It's every time, every time we say that, he gets like we, we get a good win. Do you know what I mean? So I want Man United to win, but for our boss, I, I don't trust our boss. That's that's the only problem at the moment. Um, the only thing I could see happening is Here's the cross. oh shit, they tra they tried to try and pick the buggers. Yeah, the only thing I see happening is uh, probably well, Man United win. Um, against Newcastle or Newcastle. Uh, Newcastle, <coughs> Newcastle on themselves on no like, do the struggle. But that time. On to I the still think well. I think Man United could win, but I don't know. Uh, score prediction, I'm going to go for... Yeah, I'm actually going to go for a Man United 2-1 win. Um, like I said, I can't see us winning it, but I've gone for a 2-1 win. Uh, yeah, but anyway, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget leave and, and bleh, don't forget to leave your score predictions below. So, right, I'm going. Bye.